So, okay, now. Okay, now are we going? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to start by saying that this isn't a fully ripe artichoke. It should be longer than this, so this isn't going to go as smoothly as it should. I personally like to start by cutting off the base because usually the, this end of the artichoke's not that yummy anyway, and that one's not going to be any good. Start by cutting about an inch or so off of the top because this stuff doesn't matter any place. And you need to get into the artichoke then because a good artichoke should be stabbing you in the fingers because you want an artichoke that the ends have their pricklies, which this one doesn't have too much because it's not ripe yet. You cut all these off. I'm making a mess. Oh, our kitchen one has my way. The artichoke has like sap on the stem that's getting me right now. That's unusual. Then you're going to go and reach in the middle and open up your artichoke. If you do this too hard, as Kodo once proved, you will break the artichoke. Then you don't want these center leaves because you can't really eat them anyway. Usually they're more purple than this, but once again, this isn't a fully ripe artichoke. So you get in there and very hard with the spoon, dig it out, put your thumb over it for the first one because you'll make a huge mess. Wow, this is really not ripe. And then there's, I don't know if you can see, there's these little fluffies in there. And these are bad. You don't want these. Now normally you can't see into the artichoke this well. I can see totally into this artichoke, which is highly unusual for a ripe artichoke. And so you scrape all of that off of the middle. Make sure that you get the edges. And this is the ever quickest I've ever done an artichoke in my life. Because it's so tiny. And voila, you have an artichoke ready to go. If you want, you can also squeeze a little lemon juice into the leaves. Then you put it in a pot of water. Have it mostly cover the artichokes so I need to add more water. The end. Turn on.